Tell your sister I said hi. Of course. If I ever see her again. New job's been tough on her lately. Need a little pick-me-up. You got chromantic ore. The hell you want the swill for, boss? Heard some batches even glow in the dark. Why drink poison when you can drink Spunky Monkey? Way better than... You freeze up a lot. One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right, follow me. Lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback. Fuck you want! This ain't none of your biz! You another corporal rat? Relax. Don't got any beef with you. For now. What happened? New pal here talked his sister into taking a job at Zeta Tech. Bitch just leaves, doesn't even say bye. We've been running these streets ever since we were kids. Hacking street vending machines, fucking up corpos. It's what we live for. Then what? Now she's too good for us? Double-crossing cunt! You listen to yourselves? And how stealing from poor folk like me gonna make things better? Shana's a grown-ass woman now. You should follow her example. You getting back a corpse by stealing from a street vendor? It says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? I could break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor, and you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Vance? Oh. Oh, Vance? What do you think you're doing? Oh. Oh. They lost their damn minds. Thanks, boss. 
that attitude. Just between the two of us, you're really proud your sisters joined the Zeta Tech fold. Look, I know what you're thinking. Corps are exploiting us. They're turning us into slaves. That's what people say, no? Well, guess what? They never have to worry about putting food on table. Me and Shana take whatever we can get. She's probably running on neuro stims. You're not worried? Hey, you can't have it all. And even if we did, nobody get off their ass and do anything. Well, when you put it that way. Now that that's over, you okay? Eh, don't worry about it. I've had worse. No good fucking deadbeats. Up till now, we almost got used to them. But to pull a knife on one of their own? Well, at least Shana can focus on her job now. No one in the family ever got as high up as her. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. Sure thing, boss. Thanks.
CPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Members of the Valentinos engaged in smuggling and trafficking operations. The group is led by Miguel Rodriguez, aka Gizmo. Priors include second degree murder and drug trafficking. Cities put out a reward for neutralizing the threat.
Commander, you have no chance of escaping. it again. Harder this time. Crying out. Hey, Chum, <clears throat> it's about you. Okay. In view of the recent incident, which really takes a pretty increase, Uchili men an NCPD officer, nine city police is requesting really takes assistance. Fuck, <laughs> 
be. I mean, woo, had me on the edge of my fucking seat. Luckily, it's all over. Handled it like a true profession. I got the data. You're in the clear. Closing the gig. Ah! 
but maybe someone should test this out and let me know. UV? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. Perales, <laughs> the one running for mayor of Night City. The one? So the one who was DA until recently, but just vaulted into a seat on the city council. I gather you now understand why discretion is of the utmost importance. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Ryan a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber-psycho attack. And claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG.
Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race? Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. They left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. The terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister, later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah. But it could've. Could've chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly-ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Well, well, well. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Rather not jump to any conclusions. There's not much to go on. Still too early to say. Sure, sure. Any questions at this point? Ray Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. 
Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy and his bulldog, so to speak. I'm running in Ryan's place now. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle. The NCPD. No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Corporations from their income tax. Someone office. here to see you, looks like. Hmm. Wonder what about. The River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hunt. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friends, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about hey, to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hans not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to them. What was it? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Face to 7299 right now. The crystal. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because he got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. Just not something you see every day. 
said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. City absolved 32 corporations from You're looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club. Ray Queen's Race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Clouds in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. <sighs> Fuck alone, all of you. Fuck. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address, we're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers show broke all my fingers. Wasn't here then. Now I am. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Anyone asks, we'll say we got the address off a body we fished out of the bay. Ugh, fine. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Rhine died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. <sighs> My shit luck! Well, well, that's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Orvoth's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that leap drop. Okay, let's go see this market of yours. You gonna take my car? Sure, thanks. Good 
90% of any detective's job is talking. But you know that already. I'll say you're kind of natural. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So who are we supposed to talk to? CyberPsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. You Christine Markov. How's it? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tech over on the other side. Christine Markov. Find her. Find something? Oh, not get out. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? No, not cops. Just looking for some intel. Everyone's always looking for something. At least I know where I stand with the cops. Other people. I open your mouth one day and corpo muscle or gangoon show up on your doorstep the next. Peter Horvath. Worked for you, right? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? Look, when you're talking about Peter, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Join us today. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan, a uh, Madame President mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison. A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Uh, so 
Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here, and I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of May Ryan. And wash your fucking wheels, pig. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. Red Queen's race now. Gonna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you.
Animal's turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies? Don't expose your throat? Ha fucking ha. We're short of warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me.